In this lecture, I will show you how to deploy a tag for Google Analytics to track external link clicks on your website. Instead of starting with a tag, we will start with first creating a trigger that will capture the link clicks and then define the tag to push it over to Google Analytics. So go ahead and click on triggers, click new, and let's call it GA external link clicks trigger. Go ahead and click on the circle here or the pencil icon. Since we are going to be tracking link clicks, go under the click type trigger and click on just links. Then you have a few other options. One is wait for tags, which essentially means you want this tag to be fired after other tags have fired or some time have elapsed. So go ahead and select on it and you can set the time here. So whichever comes first, either all the tags have fired or this 2000 milliseconds have passed, that's when this tag will fire. We'll leave it as default, so un uncheck it. And then there is a check validation, which basically ensures that it was a true click. We are going to leave it unchecked. The next one is this trigger fires on all link clicks or some link clicks. For our case, we are going to be only tracking external link clicks. Then we will be using some link clicks. So go ahead and click on some link clicks. And then it gives you a few options that you can choose from to enable this trigger. Are there any conditions that you want to fire this tag on or not on? So for our example, since we are tracking external link clicks, we want to make sure we only track where the click URL does not contain analyticshire.com, right? We only want to track external links, not internal links. So we have click URL, the URL of the click does not contain analyticshire.com. In that scenario, it is going to track all the external links on analytics higher. So once you're done with it, go ahead and hit save. And just to give you an idea, here are two external links on analytics higher, which take you to Facebook and Twitter. And any other links that are external will be tracked as well. So now you've got the trigger enabled. When this trigger happens, we want to track these link clicks in Google Analytics as events. So we'll create a tag for that. But before we go ahead and create a tag, we want to capture some information of the link clicks in variables. So go ahead and click variables, click on configure. And here you have all the variables tied to a click. Go ahead and click all of them. Now you have a bunch of variables that you will be able to use in your tags or triggers. Go ahead and click X, now you're done. And you'll see all those variables are now available. Head over to tag, and now we'll define a new tag. Click on new, and call it external click tag. Go ahead and click on the tag configuration. We are going to push this tag to Google Analytics. So click on Universal Analytics. That's the new version of Google Analytics, or the latest version. And then it gives you an option of track type in this scenario. It is an event. That's what we're going to track in Google Analytics. All these clicks will be tracked as events. And you have to provide your event tracking parameters. If you're not familiar with Google Analytics event tracking, then you'll need to go deeper into Google Analytics course. But for the purposes of this course, basically what you are providing is few names so that you can see those reports in Google Analytics. Here's the report. So event category, event action, and a label. So we'll go over here and I'll call it the category as external links. Then for action, I am going to use the name of the page where this link was clicked. For that, go ahead and click on this icon right here. It opens up the standard variables and we are going to use page path. Then for label, I'm going to use the URL of the link that was clicked which is the click URL. This is where the user is going. So we'll know whether it's a Twitter, Facebook, or any other external link. So go ahead and click that. So now you've got your options set. We took the page path variable for action. Click URL for the label. Leave the value blank. The next option is to choose whether this, whether this event tracking 
should generate a new page view or not within Google Analytics. We do not want it to register as a new page view, so we'll go ahead and click true. So it's a non-interaction hit. The next is the Google Analytics setting. We need to set the variable where this data is going to be tracked in. So we already have a GA tracking ID defined. In our previous example, go ahead and click GA tracking ID, which is the ID of your Google Analytics property. Enable overriding setting in this tag basically means that any values, any properties that you have defined for these variable that you can override here. By clicking, it'll open up options for you to override those settings. For this example, we are just going to leave it as it is. Then there are some advanced settings where you can provide the priority of the tag. If there are a bunch of tags being fired, you can define which one gets fired first, second, third, and so on. Also, you can enable custom tag firing schedule. For example, if you do not want to fire this tag during daytime, then you can set it up. We are not going to play with this for this one. So just leave it as it is. This is advanced tracking, which will be very custom to your organization. And then you have only fire this tag in published container, which means when you are playing with it, uh, when you're testing it, you do not want this to be fired. I am going to leave it unchecked because I want it to be fired even when I'm testing it. And then you have tag firing options. How many times you want it to be fired? Once per every e event, unlimited or once per page. So unlimited means it's just gonna be firing every time this event happens, but we want this to be once per event. And you also have tag sequencing. If you have a bunch of tags, how do you wanna sequence them? Which tag gets fired first and all, so on. And then you have to define a trigger. So let's go ahead and pick our trigger. Click on this icon right here or in the middle and choose GA external link trigger. Go back to your workspace. Now we are going to preview before releasing this tag. So go ahead and click on preview. Now you are in the preview mode. You will have to launch analytics hire in the same browser. So we're going to relaunch analytics hire in the same browser and you will see the preview window. Now analytics hire is opened in a preview mode. Here is your preview. So when you launch the window, you'll see your first tag fired, which was just basic Google Analytics tag. And it says tag not fired, external click tag. Now I'm going to click on external window here to launch Twitter, right? So I'm gonna click on this and see what tag gets fired. If I click on Twitter, it'll open Twitter window in the same window and I will lose this view. In order to make sure that I do not lose this view and open Twitter link in a different tab, I am going to use control key. So control key with my mouse click. This launches Twitter in a different window. And as you can see, this tag got fired. Also in the summary, you'll see GTM link click happen. Let's go ahead and click on GTM link click or this tag to see the details. So here you can see action was splash, which is the page path, which is the default. Then you've got the category external links and label, which is where are we going? Twitter.com slash analytics hire. These are the event options that we set when we were enabling event tracking via Google Tag Manager. Go ahead and look at it. Here's your tracking ID. Now you can head over to Google Analytics and go to your event tracking to see which events are getting fired. You've got external links, event action, and then event label. Don't go by these numbers because I did another demo that bumped up the number to two. If you're doing it only one time, then you'll see only one. So that's it, you have verified everything and your tag is ready to be published. Go back to your workspace and click on submit. It's gonna give you an option to provide a description. Go ahead and provide your version name and description. Make sure it's the right environment to publish and go ahead and publish it. And that's it. Your tag was just published.